Anyway, so I'm going to divide this video into three parts, all in one video, talking about actual stateless societies or potential stateless societies. I'm going to start off with some talk about Somalia, a crappy stateless society. Then I'll speak about Freetown Christianity, a decent stateless society. I'm, I'm going to speak about what I think would be the potential cash crop and say let's say that could change the story or type that could let's start off with a crappy one um, normally when you're asked if an actual state of society people think oh hey let's ask if this guy knows an actual state of society you're gonna actually say Somalia and Somalia sucks so people are gonna say oh well that place stinks there's no government there's no order it's crazy and well that it's not entirely true. It does suck. It sucked back when it was a communist nation. It sucked back when it was conquered by France. It sucked back when it was conquered by Italy. I'm pretty sure if it did exist even before those periods, it sucked back then. Another thing is that Somalia suffers a lot of issues. Just kind of community it has. Just they're just not nice people. They're crazy. I'm not going to use the golden mean fallacy. Alright, I will. They're radical. Uh, other thing is Freetown Christiania. Freetown Christiania. Oh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, what about Somalia? Somalia has the Zir. That's right, it has laws. There's a legal system called the Zir, which is polycentric. And the best way to describe it is that the Zir is like this tree, and we don't get the laws from the tree, we get the laws from the roots, the branches. Polycentrically. What's more is that. Yeah, I'm my piss right now. Freetown Christianity is a collective one that's actually decent, it's collectivists. Stateless society or micro nation, that's what they call micro nation stateless societies now. They call them micro nations. And near Deutschland, it was bought by a bunch of hippies from the United States military territory. And so they actually got it. And for eight years since its establishment in 1971, it sucked. But in like 1979, people realized all right, polycentrically, let's decide through a collective means what is legal and what is illegal and that's where they establish those laws uh, about drugs certain subjects well people do give it a bad rap about gang activity which is just a myth that doesn't actually occur there's a documentary you can see about this place and it's a pretty good place the markets aren't completely open they find certain things illegal and they find certain things legal that we would have problems with. But that's just what happens when you're in a foreign collectivist place where everyone knows each other. In my opinion, it's probably one of the better stateless societies. There's a lot of great stateless societies like this. But I like the architecture and the weather. And people look cool even though they, a lot of them look muck. A lot of them look ugly. Now what about an ideal civil society? Well, we could try to find another acquired territory that's not an established state, like the one which they made Freetown Christiania out of. So what about Puerto Rico? We can make a stateless society out of Puerto Rico, basically. And Puerto Rico's okay. People over there are a bit rowdy, but you know, it's a Caribbean place. I'm not going to get too com contemplate too much into it, but it's a great cash crop. There's a lot of good resources in Puerto Rico, a lot of good fruits, agriculture, architectural tastes, and art could be great means of getting money.
so you can actually have a great civil society if you a lot of people purchase Puerto Rico I'm sure Puerto Rico would be better off Puerto Rico isn't as bad as Somalia. Somalia is like if there's a rank I would give to each nation from F D F E D C B A and the primary S. So I'd give Somalia without a doubt an F. Free time Christianity a C. But I'd give Puerto Rico a B if becomes a sailor society and people get their act together because there's a lot of good things about it. Community and it might not be a bunch of ingenious people, but there's a lot of smart people in Puerto Rico. There's a lot of people who get into the books who are these mature adults. So it's a very cool running place. Of a lot of smart people, a lot of active people. It has its own social ladder, in my opinion. Those are basically all three segments. I'm gonna end the video right now. This is Miss Rock Seven. This is this is my video essentially. I don't know how to end these videos. I don't have a catchphrase.